before eighty BC in the land of Thermopylae, where the Greeks with seven thousand soldiers and the Persians with two hundred thousand soldiers would meet. The Spartan people were a unique society. Spartans were a breeding population of the Spartan army. A Spartan soldier is the only occupation a Spartan man would have. He would willingly lay down his life for Sparta. Spartans were known for that virtue. At birth, the Spartan baby was inspected for any signs of weakness. The Spartans grew up to be strong warriors. When the Spartan boys were just seven years old, they were taken away from their families and put into barracks to start their training as soldiers. During this time, they went through physical and military training. At age 20, they became warriors. The shield was the most important weapon of a Spartan warrior, made of bronze, wood, and leather. It protected their upper body from the enemy's blows and protected the soldiers standing to their left. The seven and a half to nine foot spear and the short sword and the Spartan's wrist were the striking weapons, which they were brilliantly trained to handle. The helmet made their heads sweat but protected them from the sharp cuts of the enemy's weapon. They wore greaves made of bronze and wrist guards to stop any injuries to their legs and arms. Even though these hoplites were very heavy armor, they moved effortlessly in a formation called a phalanx. They marched in uniform steps to the beat of war pipes. The Battle of Thermopylae was a battle between the two great nations of Greece and Persia. The Persians began to gain control of the city-states around the Aegean Sea. They hoped to gain control further into Greece. The king of Persia, King Xerxes, was motivated by his father's defeat at the Battle of Marathon and would not give up of trying to punish Athens. King Xerxes spent a lot of time building his huge army. The Greeks heard about Persia's huge army and they built up their armies too. The Persians invaded Greece more than once, but they were defeated. Athens was not well known as a strong land force, but they had a great navy, and since Sparta was not located by the ocean, they had a strong land force. The Greeks were very greedy people. They did not want Persia to take anything from them. King Xerxes of Persia wanted power over Greece, but the city-states of Greece would not submit to him. The war was on. Many Greek city-states joined together to fight the Persians. Greece was vastly outnumbered, 7,000 Greeks to 200,000 Persians. Under the military leadership of Sparta, King Leonidas and 300 Spartans and a few city-states band together to fight at hopeless odds. The Greek warriors held off the Persian army for two days, until a Greek trader named Ephelites betrayed Greece and led the Persians on a gold path that led around the mountains to where the Greeks were. When the Greeks got word of this betrayal and the ultimate attack by the Persians, they retreated most of their army back to Greece, but the 300 Spartans along with the then 700 Thespians and the 400 Thebans stayed behind to guard the pass. The Spartans held them off for a while, but the vast numbers soon outnumbered them. King Xerxes asked the warriors to bow, bow down before him. He gave them one last chance to surrender, saying, Our arrows will block out the sun. Greece again refused his help. The battle got intense. The Spartans held off numerous, numerous advances by the Persians. They used their shields to hold off the enemy, while they used their swords and spears against them. The soldiers in the front line would keep their shields side by side so that the enemy could not get through, while the Spartans used their spears to kill the enemy. The battle was a bloody one, but the Spartans never gave up. They would fight until they were killed because that is what they were born to do, and that was Spartan law. All 300 Spartans stayed and fought to their deaths. Yes, the Spartans did lose this battle with Persia at Thermopylae, but they will not be forgotten what they fought for. Remember us. Remember why. Boldly and Nidus and the brave 300 laid down their lives for all of Greece. <laughs>